In our health alert tonight, a powerful new antibiotic has been discovered using artificial intelligence. Scientists from MIT say that it's capable of killing many of the world's most dangerous bacteria. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with the latest. This is an important discovery, Doc. Absolutely, Glenn. Yeah. This is really good news because one of the biggest health threats today is antibiotic resistance. Now, you know, I've had patients suffer from multi-drug resistant bacteria and have often not done well, done well with it. So in my opinion, it's a real game changer and it could be uh, changing the face of medicine. Now, artificial intelligence has been around for some time, but in this case, researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, uh, they were able to train a deep learning algorithm to look at molecular structures of over a hundred million chemical compounds. So it's amazing. And to have it identify potential antibiotic molecules that could kill bacteria. And that's how they found this new molecule that they're calling Hallison. So, Doc, what bacteria does it actually kill, and has Hallison even been tested yet? So, yes, Hallison was tested on human bacterial strains grown in uh, petri dishes, and what the researchers found was that it killed many bacteria that are resistant to treatment, and that's exciting. Like the one that I actually see in my practice all the time, Clostridium difficile, or C. diff, and that's a potentially life-threatening infection that causes diarrhea and can cause inflammation of the colon. It also killed off Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which causes tuberculosis, or TB, as well as Ascidobacter bobani, a bacterial pathogen that, that can cause infections in the blood, urinary tract, and lungs. I'm very impressed it killed the Ascidobacter because it's resistant to all known antibiotics. Also, when researchers treated mice that had this bacteria, well, this Hallison cleared the infection within 24 hours, which is pretty amazing. So what about resistance, and when might this be on the market? That's an important question. So, well, during a 30-day treatment period, Glenda, when the researchers tested this uh, drug on E. coli, they found that it did not develop resistance to Hallison. Now, compare that with the antibiotic we know, Cipro or Ciprofloxacin, which only took the E. coli one to three days to develop resistance. So, big, big difference. Very remarkable. Now, as it uh, for when it's going to be in the market, well, the scientists still have to study it further, but uh, when more studies are needed to make sure that it's safe and works uh, more effectively in humans, but super exciting. Yeah, some really important information Thank there. You. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. Happy Friday to you. Yeah, you too. And this week, an all new Dr. Nandy show, Fighting Disease Through Yoga and Meditation. And join Dr. Nandy and his guests this Monday, February 23rd at 1.30 a.m. But if you're not up that late, be sure to set your DVR. Alarming